Hello, this is Barry um, with Knitting for Love, and today's video is changing colors with the ten stitch blanket. Now, when you're starting out your blanket, you may not want to do it all the same color. However, you may want to switch the colors up. So you would do the starting square first, and then you would start to change the color. And I will tell you not to change the color on the corners because if you do, this is what will happen. And this is the right side, but you can see when you do your wrap and turns, you have this line that goes across. You don't want that. It's fine to be on the underneath side, which is this is the the uh, the wrong side work, but this is the right side work, and you'll get that no matter what if you try to do it in the corners. And that's why I did this to show you what would happen if you switch when you're doing the corners. Now to start <coughs> the change of color. You're going to knit this center square first, which I already have <coughs> prepared. And then you have your contrasting color. And then you're just going to pick it up and start knitting. And what you're going to do is this side, because you're going, you're coming here, if you can see, there's a short row here. So you want to turn your work. So you're going to work really in a kind of like a circular motion all the way around the blanket. But when you go in and you knit, you need to knit so you're turning a corner. So you're going to turn a corner, turn a corner, turn a corner, turn a corner. And then you're going to knit straight down until you get to here. And then you're going to turn a corner twice. And then you're going to knit straight across, attaching. And you're going to turn the corner, knit straight up, straight up until you're flush with this. And now you're going to turn and start turning the corners again to keep going. And I will demonstrate that in a moment. So, I'm going to take my yarn. And, I hope my voice is not too low. My is still a little dry, still a little hoarse. But, you know, <clears throat> I'm not going to use my stitch markers because I'm only doing this as a demonstration. So basically, you're gonna knit across like you normally would after you finish your main, your starting color. Just put your yarn. <coughs> and you're going to leave the last one. And I'm not concerned with these because all you do is pull them and they tighten up and you can actually um, weave them in later. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring the yarn forward and you're going to pull this needle over. You are going to wrap this one and pull the yarn back and then wrap this one. Then you're going to switch hands and then you're going to knit back across. Back across the row really quickly. Make sure I don't have any tension on my yarn. So Okay, and then you're going to turn your work, and then you are going to go back across again. And then this time, I would have normally put a stitch marker in front of the blue. So I'm going to knit, I know this 10 stitches, I'm going to knit 8 of them and wrap the ninth one, which is the stitch right before the stitch marker. So I'm just doing the corners. This, is to, this will allow me to turn my yarn around, my color around. And then we're going to work back. Then 
then we're going to knit seven. So we're actually going to creating the corner short rows. Seven. I'm going to wrap this one. And I'm just going to take you through the whole corner process. Now I'm going to complete this triangle and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. And so I finished all of the corner wrap and turns and now you have what looks to be. And this is the wrong side row. This is the right side row. So this is what it should look like and your working yarn should be on this side. Is you should have that diagonal. Now in my 10 stitch blanket, you're going to start knitting and increasing this so the work will go this way just as it is and here you can see that here's the triangle and now i'm going to work this way and then what's going to happen is is when i get here i'm going to have this piece that's going to it's going to be sitting right here so i'm going to do another triangle for short rows and then i'm going to do another short rows and then i'm going to do um, straight knitting and attaching all along i am attaching all the way around and i will show you how to do that in a moment uh, again um, i'll be back when i've finished um i have to do that um when i finish this block uh, so you can see that it's turning feature so be right back okay so i'm back so now I've finished with turning that complete corner. And now I'm going to turn another corner. But I'm on my last row here. So I want to show you what I do with this last row because of that blue stitch. So I was at that wrap and turn on nine. I'm going to take care of that blue stitch right now. So I'm going to knit all the way across. This is the row, the last row of your wrap and turns. which this row doesn't have a wrap and turn because it's the final row. So I'm going to knit this one. And actually this is the wrap and turn row. So we're going to wrap that last one again. Turn our work. Knit back. This is our final row. And what we're going to do is we're going to knit all the way across. So we're starting our second corner, so we're actually going to wrap and turn that last stitch. We're keeping that blue stitch and when you get ready to do this, you won't see this blue stitch at all. Um,
I'm gonna work my short rows again to form the next set of short row triangles to form the next corner. So basically I'm going to come this way now. So basically I'm working up and this is going to be a diagonal little triangle right here. And then I'm going to do another set of short rows and walk all the way across here. And I will show you that in a moment that is exactly what I did here so that's why I showed this one is I worked up I worked one short row turning the corner short row again and then I'm coming over here and I'm going to make another short row triangle and then another short row triangle and then I'm going to start working this way and this way so now once you've gotten to that point when you finish all of those triangles, the next, this triangle that goes here and this triangle here, when you get down to here, you can attach this blue thread down here when you're knitting the two sides together. And I will show that uh, in a little bit um, when I'm doing, uh, I'll be right back. So I have to uh, work that way around and then I'll show you and I'll come back and show you what happens with that blue stitch. Be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So I've done, I finished the short row, and as you can tell, the progression is going square, short row, short row, short row. So short row triangle, short row triangle, short row triangle, and then another short row triangle. Then I will be back right before I finish this next short row triangle to show you what happens with this blue stitch. Okay, so I'm back. So basically I've worked all the way up to the last um, row and now this is where I'm going to connect. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do now. Because what I'm going to do now is actually, is I'm going to actually, I work with double pointing needles for this reason, is I actually can place my other end of my double pointed needle when going to work across. Um, I can place this needle right where I want the stitches to be combined and I can then just knit across. And this will eliminate that blue stitch from showing up anywhere. So when you're at your very last row and you're going to be ready to knit across, this is what you do. If you're using um, if you're not using double pointed needles, which I strongly suggest you do so, especially with the 10 stitch blanket, um, it's a lot easier. And see what I'm going to do is now I'm at that two stitches, so that's the 10th stitch, but I've picked up. And instead of picking up an actual stitch, which creates more work, uh, more yardage, in here it's going to create like a little bump, I actually knit these two together. And this actually, um, tacks down the rest of the, um, it doesn't create a weird um, extra stitch somewhere because it does, it, it will become lopsided once you start adding stitches and you have to actually figure out how many stitches I have left. So you don't want extra stitches anywhere. So I just do the combined two at the end. And I work back across the row. And now, if you can see, this really doesn't show as much anymore. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you again how I attach. Um, so I line up my double pointed needles my next one is right here. And I'll just put it on the row. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit across and then I'm going to knit these two together. And this will make these this seam. It's not a raised seam. Um, if you want the raised seam, you would have to go and look at my other video for 10 stitch blanket made it easier. I think 
I display the raised seam. I pretty much don't care for the raised seam. I was making that blanket uh, for someone else that wanted the raised seam. What I like to do is, when I don't do a raised seam, seam here, I like to embroider something here because this is just a flat surface. There's no rays on anything on either side when I do it this way. So then I'm at my last stitch, my last red one, which is my 10th stitch and the stitch that I picked up on the other side. And I'm just going to knit these two together. That's it. And keep going back and forth until I end up flush with this edge like I am here. And that's what I will uh, show you now is how to switch colors again. Because you would work until you get to the corner. Whenever you're flush with an edge and you can't, uh, if you work straight up and you turn, you're too far up. So let me show you. So here, I'm going, to work, I'm going to continue to work until I am flush with this edge. Once I'm flush with this edge, I'm going to start my triangle short rows. So it's going to be a short row here, and then a short row here, and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to work across until I am flush with this edge, and then I'm going to do my corners, which is the short rows. So like I did here, is short row, short row, short row, short row. You do a lot of short rows in the beginning because you are starting out the next row of color. So you're going to do the triangle here, short row triangle here, short row triangle here, short row triangle here. Then you're going to work your way down to get to this point right here. And then you're going to do another short row triangles. You're going to do another short row triangles. And you're going to continue to work up until you get to here. And you're going to do a short row set of triangles, a short row set of triangles, going back, and then you're going to knit. Now, in this case, you're not going to stop here because you're not doing a short row triangle here unless this is your last box. And you can do that either way. You can. This is your last go around. You could either finish it by working up over here um, bind off and then do a nice border or you can start here and do a short row triangle here and a short row triangle here and then connecting them here I prefer this method so I don't have to look like I have a six rows of triangles right here so it looks like it's going in this fashion and what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch colors again and show you again how to switch colors since I'm up here, I'm going to leave the last stitch on here red instead of like the other one was blue. And that's it. You just pick up a new yarn and you start knitting. So you get to the last one and then I'm going to wrap and turn and I'm going to repeat the process that I did with the red yarn attaching the red yarn is I'm going to now oh, I didn't finish my wrap and turn so I'm going to pull that back over here bring this yarn over here and when I turn, the yarn is on the right side of the work. And then I'm going to keep going. And this is going to be a short row triangle, so I'm going to start decreasing by leaving one every single round, turning the corner. And uh, of course, this is really big over here. Yeah. 
and then you keep going across until this one is a blue triangle and then you make another blue triangle and then you'll go all the way across and then as soon as you come flush with this end you're going to turn your corner and then you're going to knit straight across until you're flush turn your corner and you're going to keep doing that until you feel your blanket is big enough I hope this was helpful please leave a comment um, hope the sound quality is well it should be good I'm like right up on the mic so yep and I do know I have a soft voice um, but I do uh, realize that uh, I also have the air conditioner on so happy knitting hope this was helpful let me know if you need anything else bye now